this is an ultrasound study of a 20 years old female with the history of primary infertility, constant pain, pelvic region, married one year, and here we are seeing the urinary bladder adequately filled, appears to be adequately filled in transfer section. Now the longitudinal section. This is the longitudinal section of the uterus. Uterus, my ears. Yeah, this is a proper view. The uterus may have approximately 5.7 centimeter by 2.7 centimeter is almost with the normal limits, lower normal limits. And in transfer section, this is the uterus. <coughs> this is the uterus, this is the endometrial canal, central, clear, empty. 3.7 centimeters now this is the cervix cervical region upper lip lower lip endometrial canal anterior myometrium posterior myometrium the funnel region the urinary bladder in transfer section and that major is once again. Now here the measurement is 6.6 .6 cm by 3.1 cm. So this is the uh, measurement that I am going to keep. This is with a normal. Now, when I move the probe angle the probe, I see a cystic area with uh, internal ecogenic area along with the debris. This is the area with debris. Actually, this is the cyst. Now these are the ecogenic areas within the cystic structure. This one. These are solid ecogenic, this is a solid ecogenic area with posterior dirty shadow that as we see in case of bowel. This ecogenic area irregularly outlined and almost evenly ecogenic. Uh, solid area measuring 4.0 into 2.8 centimeter giving uh, posterior shadow that is dirty shadow made with clear fluid anterior in the anterior compartment and debris in the medial compartment is in fact now this uh, is a solid element within the cyst in the region of the right adnexum. This is debris and here is the urinary bladder in fact. And this is the dirty shadow. Dirty shadow. Posterior to this ecogenic area. Now this finding is consistent with uh, a dermoid cyst. <coughs> In the region of the right adenexa, a cyst is seen with the area, solid 
element and this is and it measures approximately six centimeters by four point six centimeters. So this is a picture of uh, dermoid cyst right at the next one and giving a probe a sweep to the probe and you see it almost retains its shape while I give a sweep to the probe here we can see both together the uterus as well as the cystic mass you see this is the anterior uh, segment this is the posterior endometrial canal outer line of the uterus, this is the urinary bladder in longitudinal section, this is the cyst, anterior portion is liquid and clear, this is a solid element in the dependent region, uh, irregularly outlined, evenly echogenic and the posterior wall is uh, not seen that clearly because of the dirty shadow being created by this, these uh, echogenic area. Now this ecogenic area um, it may be a, comp may be a com uh, combination of hair, fat, you know, vessels, so this is a dermoid cyst. In the region of the right adenexa assist with solid element within it along with debris and the cause of <coughs> infertility. This is the solid element. Now let's see the left side as well. This was the right. This is the urinary bladder. And now here again on the left side we see uh, same similar appearance uh, cystic area with the cause as well as uh, a solid area that gives posterior wall dirty shadow. This is the dirty shadow. Now this is the cystic area. This is the cystic area. This is the solid element within it and you see that posterior wall of the cystic area is not clearly demarcated because of the shadow from this here solid ecogenic mass and however dirty shadow is clearly seen the debris is seen the picture is consistent with a dermoid cyst So bilateral dermoid cyst in a patient with infertility with normal uterus and endometrial canal, no focal region seen relating to the endometrial canal as, and or the myometrium, the cervix is normal, no fluid seen in the pelvic cavity. Mm-hmm. Eh? It's magnified. 
to see the same cyst we get a better view in this magnification showing you the uterus in longitudinal section, the urinary bladder in longitudinal section, the cyst, complex cyst, this is all cyst with ecogenic area in the dependent region that gives you posterior dirty shadow. And it may have approximately seven by I will go up to five. Seven by five centimeters. This is the solid element. Irregularly outlined. Here we see these are the internal echoes, the debris. This is the endometrial canal and this is the case of dermoid cyst in a patient a 20 years presenting with the history of primary infertility. Thank you very much.